Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So later today, on the 19th of March, which will be quite late in my region today, we are expecting to see Google roll out Chrome version 123, which is going to be our next stable release. And um, obviously tomorrow in my part of the world, I'll post a full update video on version 123, if you would be interested, like I always do. And... Um, just to let you know though that last week I did post a early stable release of version 123 and that video will be in the end screen of this video as more or less what you can expect to see with this um, version upgrade rolling out later today. Now um, in regards to version 123 um, I may have some bad news and that's because version 123 may be the last version where we will have the very popular f experimental flag um, being available in the browser where you can force a dark mode for all websites. Now this flag has been around since about 2019 but Google never enabled the feature to force dark mode um, or um, force a dark theme on all websites. They've never enabled this by default. It's always been hidden behind an experimental flag and obviously um, in days gone by when um, websites were not using most websites were not using a dark theme like more current um, updates to websites do. Um, this was a very popular feature in the browser. Even though it wasn't a default feature, a lot of users used to enable the flag. Now, just to give you an idea as to what I'm talking about in case you were unaware, um, to head to the experimental flags page, we just head up to the Omni box and we enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in the search, you just type in dark. That's the easiest to bring up the flag. And here's the flag. Auto dark mode for web contents. The description reads, automatically render all web contents using a dark theme. So this is the popular flag I'm talking about. And then just to demonstrate, we change that from default. Now you can see there is and are a lot of enabled options available. Now I'm just going to choose the default um, enabled for the purpose of this video. You relaunch um, the Google Chrome web browser. And yeah, you can see now, as an example, if I, you can already see um, it's forcing dark mode. If I head over to Drive, just to give you an example, now Google Drive still gets displayed in a white theme, and you can see it's forced dark mode. But the only thing with this is you can see it kind of inverts a couple of the colors. So it is still an experimental feature, so it has a couple of glitches. But nonetheless, this has been a very popular flag, and Google has even admitted that in the past. And as mentioned, this could be the last um, version, 123 could be the last version that actually has this experimental flag available. Now, my reason for saying this is if we head over to a commit message over on GitHub, here we can see that it is said extend enable force dock until M123. So that's version 123. And they say this flag is one of the more popular flags and will be difficult to remove usage is slowly falling so let's re-evaluate re in a year now the reason um that usage is slowly falling according to google they don't give us an exact an exact actual reason but i would suggest that that's because as mentioned more sites now have a native dark mode option available and um, it is a possibility that um they don't really want to put all the effort into this feature if most websites now are making a dark mode available. But nonetheless, they do say, uh, um, let's reevaluate in a year. So obviously, this is a feature or a flag that they could reintroduce um, in about a year's time, according to this commit over on a GitHub. But nonetheless, I just wanted to put it out there because uh, um, this has been a popular flag. And... Uh, um, the forced uh, dark mode feature flag, as mentioned, is set to expire um, for Chrome 123, which means basically that this will be the last version um, of the browser, possibly the last version, according to that commit um, by Google, uh, where the feature will be available, unless, as mentioned, Google does extend it again. But um, if I get any more information, obviously, I will keep you guys posted, but just wanted to let you know because I have seen a couple of comments even on the channel over the last year or two that um, this has been used and has been of benefit to some users. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.